The RR interval is what we'll be studying today, which is also a part of the what? The, uh, the ECG, all right, ECG tracing. So the RR interval is just like the period which it takes from, okay, one R in another QRS complex to another R in the nearest QRS complex, all right? So that's the RR interval. So looking at the RR interval, we are trying to define, right? So after definition, we are trying to look at how the normal RR interval will be like. After looking at the normal, what next? We are trying to look at how the abnormal RR interval will look like, okay? So let's define. We said that the RR interval in electrocardiography represents the time between two consecutive, uh, two consecutive or R waves. So, so the time that it takes you to move from this R wave in another QRS complex to the nearest R wave, consecutive, that means they are following each other, is RR com, uh, interval, all right? So it represents the time between two consecutive R waves, indicating the duration of a cardiac cycle, all right? Okay, from one depolarization to another depolarization. That's a cardiac cycle, all right? So talking about the normal RR interval now, how would the normal one look like? For duration, it's about 0 0.6 to 1.2 seconds. All right. Variability, it varies with heart rate, age, and individual factors. All right. Then abnormal. We, we know the normal to know the abnormal. So the abnormal now, we have a lot of things to say about it. For the abnormal, it could be that there's an interval, right, which is 0 0.6 to 1.2 seconds. So it could be that it is now less than 0 0.6. That means there's a shortened R interval. Or you could say that it is now more than 1.2 seconds. That means there's a prolonged RR interval. All right? So for the short RR interval, it's less than 0 0.6, just like I said. It indicates that the heart is beating too fast. That's tachycardia. It can be seen in things like what sinus tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardia, or ventricular tachycardia. All right. Then for a long RR interval, that means what the RR interval is more than what 1.2 seconds can indicate bradycardia. That means the heart is beating too slow. Boop, boop, too slow. Right? It can be seen in things like what sinus bradycardia. It is an atrioventricular block. It is a cardiac what conduction system disease. All right. So RR interval abnormalities can be associated with various cardiac conditions such as what arrhythmias, either tachycardia or bradycardia, cardiac conduction system disease, electrolyte imbalance, or cardiac medications. We are taking some drugs like beta blockers, digozine. They basically result in abnormalities in what? RR intervals in ECG. All right, so that's it.